want to uh, bring all these special guests over here to come introduce themselves. Holler at y'all real quick, man. These two brothers are getting ready for the NFL draft right now. They training right now specifically to get to the next level. Just like y'all working to get to the next level of college, they getting it in too. But now, you know what I'm saying, a step further. So feel free to shoot questions at them and let them introduce themselves. But it's time to pick their brain. We got an all Big Ten player, all Pac-10 player. They getting, he getting it in where y'all want to be. So we'll give them a round of applause. Let them introduce yourselves. Y'all can ask them questions. I'm uh, about play middle and outside at Illinois from Chicago. I'm um, Richard Sherman. I um, play corner at Stanford. I play receiver at Stanford. I'm from Dominguez. I went to Dominguez High School in Compton. And uh, yeah, same thing. We're just getting ready for the combine right now. You got a question already? Yeah. What, uh, so what position you play in high school? Did you uh, have to make a transition from going linebacker? Definitely have to make uh, I played defensive end and wide receiver. Uh, a little better linebacker. So uh, it was kind of like a mixture outside linebacker, defensive end, straight wide receiver for me. And coming out straight to college, I had to play number outside linebacker, no defensive end. So it was a big difference. Of you, and I wasn't used to like standing up all the time, opposed to put my hand down. So that was the biggest transition, and then just learning a whole new defense at a different pace. Uh, like right now, like that's the only difference from high school and college: the pace of the game, speed up, like that. It may not look like it or seem like it, but it do. Like any other question, I mean, y'all linebackers, you know, we all relevant. Any question y'all have, I'll answer for y'all. So you went, uh, which, uh, how hard did you have to work at it? Like, you do any specific workouts or something? Yeah, I definitely, I, I do what people ain't doing. Like, like at home in my own time, you know, I do a lot of sales and push-ups and stretching. Stretching, I'm telling y'all, stretching right now is, is key. You know what I'm saying? You, you see a lot of people pulling hammies or, or doing that because you don't stretch, you gotta take that seriously. Like, I stretch probably more than the average person. Like, at home in the morning when I wake up and at night, and including our workout time. And it's like, even like when y'all doing drills right now, you know, y'all compete against each other all the time. Me and him compete. His defensive back, I'm a linebacker, you know. I compete against him. He compete against me, you know, we push each other. And that's that's the whole mass that you gotta have all the time. Me, you compete with me. And like, you got that drive right here in your heart. You gonna, you gonna wanna do what people ain't doing. That's, that's, how I took, that's how I took my approach to it. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's it's, it's really a lot, man. Y'all out here working right now. Like I said before, like there's people in their beds right now playing Call of Duty, chilling at the house. Y'all doing work right now. You gotta always be working when other yeah. people aren't working. You gotta at the at the crib when you just chilling, you feeling like, oh, I ain't got nothing else to do. Do do about 50, 60 push-ups, 100 push-ups. You know, as many push-ups as you can do, then get in your bed. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't you shouldn't you should be tired when you go to sleep. If you ain't tired, you lay in your bed, you can't go to sleep. Do some push-ups, do some sit-ups. You should be getting better at all times. You know, that's how you get to college. That's how you become the best.